What's up guys, my name is Michael Aris and welcome to my photography channel. I'm just gonna take a bite really quick. Sorry, I'm trying to wake up. It's eight something in the morning on Sunday. Church starts at 10 and today I'm gonna to do another POV video. And in today's video, I'm going to be shooting with the 24 to 70 2.8 while using the Atomos Ninja 5 recorder on top of my camera here to show you what I see through the lens. So if you guys remember in my what's in my camera bag video, I talked about how the 24 to 70 was probably the lens that I use almost all the time along with my 85 millimeter. I like the kind of wide shots I can get with this lens, as well as how quickly I can zoom in on somebody with this lens. But that's enough talking for right now. I'm trying to wake up with the cereal, and I gotta get ready for service today and put on some church clothes. And let's head over to my church and see what kind of pictures I can take with this lens. All right, let's go.
you're still watching this video, thank you so much for sticking around. As always, I've had a lot of fun shooting with my 24 to 70. Now with the images that I got today, I definitely saw the difference with shooting with the standard zoom lens than with the prime lens. For some reason today, I kind of felt in my mind a little bit all over the place. Because since I have so many options between a wide angle and a zoom, I kind of wasn't really thinking about shooting with intent. For instance, when I shoot with my 85 millimeter, it's already kind of zoomed in, so I kind of get a sense already as to what kind of images I'm going to get. Same thing with my 35 millimeter. It's a wide angle lens, and I knew that I couldn't get a lot of up close tight shots of the praise team of the preacher, but I shot with intent knowing, hey, you know what? I have a wide angle lens, let's make the most of it. And as you can see in some parts of the video, I wasn't really sure if I wanted a wide shot or an up close shot of certain subjects. Now you could get a wide shot or a zoomed in shot to cover both bases, but I think that with the prime lenses, you already know what you're gonna get right off the bat in terms of focal length, so you adapt your thinking for that focal length. Now that being said, I still think that the 24 to 70 is one of the best lenses out there because of that flexibility. It all just comes down to you and your preference and how you wanna approach your subjects during church services. I'm still gonna use this for a lot of church services in the future. And that's all that I have for you guys here today. If you wanna check out more of my stuff, you can check out more of my videos right here. And if you are a church photographer and you want to know my thoughts on your images, you can send me your photos at michaelarisphoto at gmail.com. And with that being said, take care and I'll see you in the next video.